You often talk about the fact that decomposition starts down near the appendix in a little green spot you yeah. often talk about and how then it spreads up through the body. Yeah. And James wants to know, why does it start there? It tends to start down this area um, because it's your appendix area and your appendix, if you have it, you don't have it, is where a lot of bacteria gathers and we don't know what the appendix really does in our body normally but there's a, that's where a lot of nasty bacteria sits and gathers um, so when we pass away it tends to release the bacteria sense and just rapidly go from that area and you can <coughs> physically see that yeah I can smell it as well right she smells smell green and smell green yeah. before I open the body bag all right so how long generally if someone's been in a fridge at a hospital or at um, at the coroner's or mm -hmm. here yeah. how long generally until you start to see that i know there's lots of different factors how they died yeah. where they were yeah. all that stuff temperatures but generally ballpark? generally um it can happen straight away yeah. really just a little green dot yeah some people don't have anything some people have a tiny dot and it doesn't progress anymore and they've been in the fridge for four or five days and it's stayed there but oh, sometimes really? it spreads you know even in the fridge you know without any treatment or anything like that it's just slowly but uh, it can spread and other times when i can smell green i know it's right across it's all through all the organs and it's already got a deeper color at this point and it's a lighter green this point so, so it so spreads up it doesn't spread down through the legs it goes no, through the organs it tends to spread up through the organs and up and come up to the head right which is what you have feet, to worry about yeah. So when people have a viewing, yeah. obviously you need to make sure yeah. you don't have that showing on the head. Hence why we actually have to do a lot of uh, aspirating if it's that bad, you know, if it's, because by the time it's gone to that little bit of green, to the really deep dark green that I can normally smell, it's usually distended a bit as well, so it's full of gas. Yeah. So we've got to that process of, you know, further down in the decomposition. And that's when the purge starts, the leakage that's, starts, that's right, you can't yeah. dress them properly, yes. you've got to do it. It's just a means to an end for the family to get their viewing and to have uh, their time, you know. Uh, and we, we get families that say, don't touch my loved one at all, What? Not. I don't want you to touch it, so I, I will honour that and not do a, a, a cavity aspirate. Yeah, I'll just say, okay, I'll just clean anything that, if there's any purge, I'll clean it. And if I put them in the coffin and the purge again, I'll just clean that, just so the face is clean when they leave, but I won't, because people have asked not to touch them. We, yeah. you know, we will do that. So. Yeah. Yeah. So again, it's about knowledge, knowing what yeah. what is done as a routine um, yeah. procedure yeah. and what you might not want done yeah. as a routine procedure. So yeah. you've got the right to say that and, yeah. and, and tell the funeral home that. Yeah. Um, but then obviously you have to deal with the consequences of that, which is, you know, you might see purge, you might smell yeah. something. You yeah, know. if you insist not having the, um, the body aspirated, if it desperately needs it, you will have purge and view and... It, it just yeah. it, it just won't stop. It is quite traumatic to see because it looks traumatic to the you know to the the person that's never seen that before. Yeah. It's quite you know the first time I seen it when I started the university way back when, it was like whoa this just it looked you know it's quite confident. So but everything we do is for a reason. It's not just because we want to do it. And oh hey let's just get on and do this. There's a reason behind everything. We yeah, do. and I mean that's an interesting point too that here in Australia we don't embalm everybody only under no. certain circumstances, which we've said a million times. But um, you know, and that's partly because embalming is quite an intrusive yeah, um, it is. procedure. Yeah. Yes, and we don't need to embalm no. everybody. We have refrigeration, we don't need to embalm everybody, and it's at request of families and yeah. different circumstances. But to answer your question, yeah, the green um, will still travel whilst in the fridge uh, if no treatment's done. It'll be slow, but it will travel. Yeah. And okay, thanks for that, Tracy. You're welcome. An unsavory topic, but one they yeah, need answering. It is, yes. All right, guys, until next time. Yes. Uh, just a little short one today. It was. Look yes. at us go. Woohoo! Look at us not chit chatting for hours and hours and hours and hours and having <laughs> people going, stop chit chatting. Come on. Yeah, people don't oh. like us talking, do they? No, I don't like that. Sorry. Sorry. We're, We're chit chatting. Human friends, that's what they do. Yeah. Anyway, we love you. Thank you for Indeed. watching. See you guys. Subscribe, like. Yes, don't forget to do that. Don't forget, and don't forget to go on to the website. Bye. Seal. Hit. Action!